the next head of the Wudaimei family on the clock tower, Kristari Wudaimei, as a child, his father sent an assassin to kill Kristaria so he wouldn't be skipped over as the next family head. The assassin used a weapon, Slumber Karatsugu, that damages magic circuits, taken in by a boy who had a mystic code of precious concealment. And even if it wasn't the best, he was fed and housed. But eventually food got low, so he had to go out and get some more, leaving the amulet with Kristaria so he wouldn't be in danger. The boy came back wounded and ended up dying because he had to steal. At this moment, lamenting his weakness, Kristaria, seeing the boy now dead from helping a complete stranger, changing the course of his life. Kristaria became the leader of the Cryptors, Kaudea's A-Team, given the serious light by Marbury, who told him to use it to save the world. Tragedy would occur, leaving Team A in a life-threatening state. The alien god took advantage of this to use him for their plan. Kristaria asked them to spare the rest of his team, but sadly he couldn't tell anyone what he knew about the alien god. Putting all this information on a computer knowing somebody would find it and who would have thought it would be Kadok. Given the right time period and location, the Olympus slash Atlantis Lost Belt, Kristaria is able to use his power at full force, easily able to wipe out servants and compete with genuine gods. Being able to send a rain of meteors down upon his opponent, he used this against Zeus, Chaldea, and against Canis. He was able to kill the Dioscuri twins and then summon them as heroic spirits, to seeing him as an equal and a friend, promising that they'll have a rematch after taking out Chaldea. And if you find this video informative or interesting, make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Kristaria's big plan is to make humanity ascend to a level of godhood comparable to that of servants at minimum. With this power and longer lives, humanity will become perfect except for him. This is his grand order, what he sees as a better future for humanity. Using Atlas summoned in the Tree of Emptiness, originally made for the alien god's arrival. Of course, Burley isn't a big fan of this plan, so he used the burning British Lost Belt tree, infecting Atlas and its network, and then sent the signal for Morgan to use Rongo Miniad. Crystaria used his magecraft to block Rongo, but left himself open and Burley stabbed him in the back, followed by the alien god arriving. And when everything seemed lost, Kristaria gave Chaldea hope and a chance to escape, launching one last attack at the alien god in combination with his serious light, wounding the alien god slightly. In his final moments with Canis, she decides to fight in his steed in one last battle against Chaldea as the Lost Belt is disappearing. If you like this video, then I recommend you check out my alien god video to understand why Kristaria wants to stop them so badly.